Now we are going to do some uh, some questions uh, which is related to unit one. Unit one has recently changed. The first few questions we will do for the ethics part, uh, institute of management, accountant, uh, ethical portion, and later we will do the normal costing questions. We will start uh, with this question at K Enterprise. The controller is responsible for directing the budgeting process. In his role, the controller has significant influence with executive management as individual department budgets are modified and approved. Shows his authority when closeness with the management. For the current year, the controller was instrumental in the approval of particular line managers budget without modification. Even though significant reductions were made, to the budgets submitted by other line managers. So as a normal course, when this controller might have seen the budgets, he might have suggest some changes to the line managers. Uh, as a token of appreciation, the line manager in question has given the controller a gift certificate. Now this gift certificate sounds something alarming here. And uh, so keyword is here, it's a gift certificate for a popular local restaurant. So it may be perceived as an uh, inducement or incentive to motivate and to gain some undue advantage. So when you read the question, of course, you will know the terms and terms will lead you what kind of ethical conflict has been arised. In considering whether or not to accept the certificate, the controller should reflect, should refer to which section of the statement of management accounting number. Uh, surely, we, as a student, we are not supposed to remember the codes, but uh, we should know the concept. So, which concept is being violated? It is, of course, going to reflect the integrity of the uh, of the manager, and uh, that's why C is the right answer. This is what he says: the integrity standard require an IMA member, institute of management accounting member, to refrain from engaging in any conduct that could prejudice. Prejudice means jeopardize, carry out. In accordance with statement of management accounting number 1C, IMA statement of ethical professional practices. When we talk about professional practices, we should know that uh, uh, when we do professional work, we are supposed to be fair, uh, we should not be biased, we should be competent, we should know. Uh, we should have the required skills as well as the knowledge we have. A member who fails to perform professional duties. Now, if you are not competent, of course, then you you have failed to perform the professional competence or duties. So, in accordance with the relevant standard, acting contrary to each of the following standards. So, of course, as we read the line, so the natural thing is professional duties will be violated when you are not competent. Competent means that do you, you don't have required knowledge and skills to perform your professional duties. So, in that particular situation A is the right answer. Well, let's see why B is not a right answer. Confidentiality is not related to confidentiality because this is between two parties and if you are not uh, able to perform your work, it's nothing to do with confidentiality. Integrity is your respect and credibility is of course another way. So it So now we are moving towards the cost accounting questions. Uh, Cost accounting is very important area. Like we have, uh, we have four lectures like uh, basic accounting, cost accumulation systems, costing techniques, and uh, it will be linked with the various services. The term direct cost and indirect cost are commonly used in accounting. What is a direct cost which we can identify in a product directly? Indirect costs are those costs which are necessary to make. Uh, the manufacturing, uh, but still, it uh, without that you cannot uh, get the final finished goods in your hands. So both costs are important. A particular cost might be considered to a direct cost of manufacturing department, but an indirect cost of the product produced in a manufacturing department, classifying as a cost as either direct or indirect, depend upon. 
So he just want to know your knowledge that do you know the definition of a direct cost and an indirect cost. So you see the C option, the cost object, object to which the cost is being related. If it is related to manufacturing and you can identify directly like a direct material, direct labor or a direct manufacturing overheads, then you will classify as a direct cost. Otherwise, you will classify as indirect cost. So this, this is the most comprehensive statement which the cost is being related. If you see all other behavior of the cost, this is fixed cost, variable cost, the cost behaves. Behavior is different uh, idea and concept, this is a different concept. When the cost is expensed in the period in which it is incurred, this is this is here. Yeah, it is an accounting concept that you have to see that uh, how to recognize your expenses for the prepaid and the expense portion, which is not relevant. Whether expenditure is unavoidable, this is again uh, illogical. Generally, if you see four options, two options are quite illogical options, and two options are the close match. So, this is one of them. Then we have a couple of more questions, which one of the following best describe direct labor? Direct labor, when we talk about a cost, cost has three components. One is direct material, shortly we call as DM. We have direct labor, that is uh, DL. When we add DM with DL, this is prime cost. When we add direct labor with overhead, this is called conversion cost. So DL is common between a prime cost and a conversion cost or a total product cost. So if you see that prime cost, it is a part of, DL is a part of this, period cost, product cost, but if you see D option is more comprehensive, both a product cost or a period cost or a prime cost, that is more logical. Inventorable cost, actually inventory is a term that we use and in manufacturing uh, inventory cost is quite uh, logical and uh, complex calculations are involved uh, because it relates to the methods like first in first out, weighted average and you have to see how you see your work in progress, your raw material, your finished goods as a combination we put it as inventorable cost. So when we uh, define inventorable cost. Uh, we say these are regarded as assets. All inventory is your asset before the product is products are sold. It means once you sell them, then it becomes your sales. And before that, all is your precious item that is the current uh, current asset that you have kept for selling purposes. So, inventable costs are regarded as asset before the products are sold. If you see the other option, include only the prime cost of a manufacturing. No, prime cost is not an inventory cost, right? Include only the conversion cost. Again, it's incomplete. If we don't take DM, we take only DL and overheads. Are expensed when the product become part of the finished goods. It is close but it's not comprehensive definition. So comprehensive definition is all kind of expenses that we make to convert it into a current asset like inventory is regarded as an asset before the product. In cost terminologies, conversion costs consist of what? DL and overheads, direct labor and the factory overheads. We call it as FOH as a short abbreviation, OH as overheads, so any term can be used in your conversion cost do not include because if you are clear about the formula of conversion cost means DL plus overhead so obviously material is not going to be included as you see direct material is not included in the formula of conversion cost. You will see another option, depreciation is an indirect expense, uh, indirect labor is overheads, indirect material overheads, so all three will be the part of conversion cost except the 
Okay, this is a similar question like cost pricing, uh, conversion cost pricing would be used when the customer furnishes the material used in manufacturing a product. Let's take an example of a tailor, when you go to a tailor and you already bought a cloth and you give him, give him for stitching. So material is already with you, so he is not worried about prime cost, because prime cost means DM and DL. So you can easily use conversion cost. He can calculate conversion cost because he need to apply labor and overheads. So he, the question says, when we can use conversion cost pricing when the material is already with us and we have to only bother about conversion, change the shape of the product into a finished product like a fabric, we, we can take a, a cloth could be used when the customer furnishes the material, means he will bring the material for you and you will use as a manufacturer.